Former triathlete Rebecca Faringer credits her multi-sports background while giving her the raw power and mental stamina she says elite level cyclocross racing requires. A teammate of Kerry Warner with the Konus Maxis Shimano cyclocross team, Becca was second place at the 2019 USA Cyclocross National Championships to Clara Hansinger. Working to overcome an early season cyclocross related head injury, Becca will still complete a season of racing to include World Cup cyclocross races in a short race block in Europe. I speak to Rebecca about her goals for 2021 as well as dealing with injury while racing at an elite level. How are you feeling? I mean, I, I heard recently that you had received a concussion racing. I'm doing okay. This is my second concussion this year. It, I want to say it's my second concussion ever, but I'm of the generation where it's like, let's ride skateboards without helmets on. And who knows how many times I've hit my head and been concussed when I was a kid. But I think the proximity of the two head hits is not playing into my favor. Um, it's kind of two steps forward, two steps back. Uh, my symptoms have never been super bad, but it's enough that screens are hard, concentration is hard. I've noticed this week I'm inverting words a lot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a process and luckily I'm able to ride the bike and train, but really focusing on fine line choices and the actual racing is hard and uh, emotionally I've been struggling. I've been told that depression and anxiety are symptoms of concussion and that's playing kind of in a big way. I mean, did you race at all in 2020? Were you? I lived in Belgium for 110 days. <laughs> did you get stuck? I did a full did season. you get stuck there? No, I, I uh. asked for an extension. <laughs> I did, uh, I left in early November and I didn't come home until the, I stayed till the very last season or the very last race of the season. Wow. Uh, Osmala. Let's pretend the concussion didn't happen. What, what, you know, maybe you've reset your expectations and maybe your ambitions are a little bit different as of where you're at right now. But like, ideally, like, what, what would a nationals look like for you? And we're racing a venue we've never raced before. This is a course that we don't know. Yeah. So what are, where's your head with nationals? Ideally, I could replay 2019 nationals and it could be, you know, me and Clara and I am able to overcome some mental demons and really focus and dig deep. Uh, Clara is an amazing competitor, an amazing athlete. And I think her, I mean, Beyond her extreme physical strengths, <laughs> one of her great strengths is just being able to focus on the task at hand. I just laser vision, tunnel vision, she has blinders on, she can really focus. And I'm like, shiny object, there's a person. Look at that rock, what's going on over there? And if I, <laughs> I've you know, been practicing ways to turn that off and just looking forward to nationals, if I could have every faculty about me and like give it a true race with Clara, I think that would be that, that's what I envisioned coming into this season. Let's talk about the future of Cross and uh, also the present situation of Cross, which, you know, we have had a Katie Compton kind of fall from grace and force an early retirement. Uh, you know, do you have any thoughts or feelings on the subject? It's, I mean, I think, Racing clean and anti-doping is something that I am very passionate about. And I think a lot of people have called out any of us who spoke out about like the Denise Betsima who was found positive for doping, got a very short retroactive ban because she could prove it was accidental. Just so, saying like, oh, it was a tainted supplement from a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. uh, but then she was still racing alongside of us so soon to that happening. And it's so easy to speak out about that because it's something that you are living next to. And the fact that, I mean, I have no idea. Katie, I mean, was it intentional? Is it a conspiracy theory? Is it accidental? Was it a false positive? I have no thoughts on that. I know that Katie is a great person. She's never been anything but kind to me, uh, helping me out on the course and just helping me out in like emotional scenarios. So I still think she's a wonderful person. And the fact that I don't, she, I'm, I'm not racing alongside of her. She has taken her sanction and stepped back means I don't need to fight against any, you know, I don't need to push back. I don't need to say, you've been found positive for doping. You need to accept your four years, because she has. And I respect her for that and I think, Obviously it's terrible. We all love Katie, Katie Compton here in the U.S. and across the world and it's a bad way to go out. I, I don't want to, you know, praise anybody who may have been a doper, but I want to respect her for 
accepting it and stepping back, even though it's not what she wanted to do. Where, where is our next superstar coming from? Do we have some junior women that you've seen coming up strong? Is I, it someone, one of your competitors? Is it you? Uh, it is not me. Um, I definitely have superstardom in me, but it's not for Katie Compton level of racing. I think it's more for being able to fall down in front of the cameras and laugh about it later. <laughs> um, I think the youth that we have right now are putting in incredible performances and Something, I feel like the year of COVID racing and non-racing, all of us got put into a boggle container and shaken up and everything, like we're re-gridded, you know, the youth are coming out on top and I don't know if that's training or amount of emotional fatigue. I have no idea what it is. Um, I mean, we saw, I think it's the Clausels, the two French women who yes. showed up yesterday and just dominated. Of course, Yolanda Neff is always a force to be reckoned with, but honestly, like, it doesn't even matter the country. I mean, Madigan Monroe from the U.S., um, Blanca Voss, and just, I don't know. It's it's the youth that are coming up that are terrifying. And by youth, I mean, like, I guess some of them are in their 20s, but I'm in my 30s now, so. I hope that your recovery runs smoothly, and we'll definitely be seeing you at Nationals. Thanks. Thank I look you. forward to it.